out. It's been a minute since I've done a dare. I haven't done a new dare, or I haven't done a dare in the new house, actually. So this will be a first for that. So we just had lunch. The lunch came with some, what do you call that? Spicy mustard. Spicy hot mustard. mustard, spicy hot mustard. So, I like to do food dares. I really enjoy the food dares. They're my favorite ones. So, I'm gonna take a shot of spicy hot mustard. Well, don't take a shot, but just a sip. Is that my chaser? <laughs> I found this on the floor. It's gonna be so gross. Yeah, I mean, it tastes good actually. I'm sensing grossness. Gross. I forget who made us this cup. Do you remember the name? Clayton's custom cup. Go. I'll try to find the thing and tag it because you guys really like those Starbucks cups. I have one too. They're really nice to drink out of. All right. <laughs> Are you scared? This Practicing. stuff is really like spicy isn't even the right word. It's, it's very like pungent. It's, yeah, it's just so flavorful. Oh, it's kind of like, no, it's not spicy. It's just like dings kind of. What's the most amount of this stuff you've ever had? At a single time, is my know. question. This is like similar to wasabi, like the flavor profile, I feel like. Great. Like what it does. Great. It clears your sinuses. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Take a whiff before. <laughs> I mean, it smells like wasabi. They might use wasabi in here. <laughs> That's probably what it is, actually. I think it's just this mustard, I don't know. What hell, the mustard plant? <laughs> Must have been in angry little mustard place <laughs> to turn out like this. Oh, like yellow mustard. How much are you gonna drink? It's like an extreme Dijon. <laughs> How much are you gonna drink? The whole thing? No, no. <laughs> no? no? Just take like a, a sip the whole thing. I mean, you either go for it or you don't. Okay, <laughs> Like, what am I? Sipping like, okay, try. am I sipping wine or taking a shot? Am I tasting wine or taking a shot? <laughs> Neither. <laughs> You're freaking drinking hot mustard. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I think I just take a sip. Like it's gonna cleanse your palate. Oh god. <laughs> Why are you laughing too much? Don't make me spray this on our new. Stuff. Okay. So on our, you want on our new me white walls. To not look at you while you're doing No, no, that you have to. Way. You have to. But just don't. Don't make it come up my nose. And the last thing I need is this stuff in my nasal passages. Okay. All right. Here we go. How much should I do? Now? Just like half of it. Okay. <laughs> Stop. Can you just like not laugh? Stop. And go? Stop. <laughs> what do you want me to do when this is what you do? <laughs> It's funny. It is. Here we go. Oh, my mouth hurts from smiling. <laughs> my neck does too. <laughs> wow. Okay. Here you go. <laughs> so. Stop. You can't laugh like this the whole time. Okay. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Stop. You're going to spill it. Just... Ah. My like, neck starting to hurt. Oh, okay. Here we go. Ready? Yes. All right. Here we go. Three. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh God. Oh God. No, I'm not. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. It was just so strong. Not to my throat. <laughs> it's going my nasals, my nasals. I can't imagine that's gonna make my stomach feel very good. Ow, ow, stop. It was so hot. Like it felt like a hot pan in my mouth. Oh. Please stop. Please stop. Stop. You are laughing. <laughs> it's enough. I can't. I'm a little chaser. Oh my gosh, you're right. <laughs> oh, uh, oh my god. Oh my god. <coughs> I'd say the cinnamon was 
much more difficult than that. Was it cinnamon? <laughs> yeah, the cinnamon challenge is impossible. Okay, well this one's not impossible. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't feel good, like, oh. <laughs> it's burning inside, it's not going away. Not even a little water or some fortune cookie can help. Oh my God, Clay. <laughs> You're making me sad. So in here. I think I'm gonna taste it for weeks. Oh gosh, it's really go. I need to go lay down. I need to go lay down. Stop, 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 no. stop, stop. I need no. to go lay down. No, no, no. Mm. It's starting to not feel good in my stomach. <laughs> you bought some. I love you. Would you do it again? No. Hello? Just be careful when you do these. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> Clayton is all right. He took a little breather on the couch. I'm recovered. Doing okay, kid? I'm doing all right. Thanks for asking. It's all good. It's really funny for me because I didn't have to. I'm evil. And I am gonna go upstairs now. And I just recently got a package from Girlfriend Collective. If you guys haven't heard of them, they're a sustainable activewear line. And I've heard so many good things about them. So I'm finally trying out their products. And I wasn't able to get my hands on everything I wanted because I guess things sell out like really fast there. So I got a couple of pieces and I'm gonna do a little try on haul in case you guys were curious about that brand as well. Like I was so I'm gonna find those and then we also have a fun little try on haul coming later of Clayton and some men's clothes because we're, we're trying to refine his style and like find him more pieces to like easily throw on and just have in his closet so I went on a large shopping spree for him because I'm it's his personal large. shopper and he is gonna give us a fashion show yeah all right Sweet bag. Anyways, as I was telling you guys, Girlfriend Collective is sustainable, eco-friendly. This is made of recycled products, which is so cool. And they're actually very fashionable. So I got these little like jogger pants, which are kind of a windbreaker material. And I think this shade is called Moss. So it's just like a dark forest green and it's fun color. I got a size small in these and I feel like they're just a tiny bit big on the waist. Like I wish they were just like a little bit snugger maybe, but I like them. I think they're cute, nice and comfy, good for like our morning walks. And then I actually wasn't able to pick up a like bra, sports bra top from them because they were literally sold out in my size and like every color or something I think so couldn't pick that up so I'm just wearing this top that I have instead it's from Miss Lola I love this top I wear it all the time and then I got this little matching windbreaker jacket that goes with it and I think I got this I got this in a medium to be like a little bit bigger which I like got these nice zipper pocket closures I like that and then I got this pair of spandex little biker shorts in the same color, so I'm going to try these on for you guys. Okay, so I just looked and I actually got the biker shorts in a size extra small. So I don't know why I got this track pants in a small. I have a feeling it was like due to low stock on those sizes. So I think that this extra small fits right. I don't think I would need to size up to a small actually. I think you can do an extra small in the biker shorts. This is fit. Really nice, nice material. All recycled, so that's super cool. And it matches this little windbreaker I got. So again, this is like a good little morning walk outfit or working out. I wouldn't wear the jacket working out, but biker shorts are yes. And then the other thing I picked up from them is this one piece. I feel like this is maybe like a signature piece for them. I also picked this up in an extra small in this like plum color. So I'm gonna slip this on and show you guys. I think that this is like a really fun, workout outfit. All right, finally got this one piece on. It was actually kind of an adventure to get on. I got an extra small in this as well. I, I don't know if I already told you guys that or not. It is a little snug. I can't tell if I should get a small next time. I mean like it fits and it's tight, which I feel like it should be for a one piece, but it was like a little bit difficult to get on because the fabric is like technically stretchy, but it's just like really high quality, I feel like, and it's not 
like super it doesn't give a lot so it's like technically stretchy but it's not like i don't know it's just like nice and thick and good quality so it was a little bit a little bit tight to get on if you know what i mean but i think it's cute i think it's fun again i think that this is like a good walking outfit or workout outfit like we're not going to the gym right now but just working out in our garage and stuff it's pretty fun i like the color and then i also picked up a scrunchie from them this is again eco-friendly made from recycled materials and i just got like a white one and it's a very nice quality scrunchie so i like that and everything i got this time to try out and i would say overall their stuff is really nice and cute and fashionable and i love ethos behind their brand so all right like many of you guys delaney is my uh what personal stylist it's <laughs> first time doing this i feel <laughs> i feel just like her well, welcome back to my channel. I got a huge haul from ASOS today. No, anyways, so this first piece here is like this linen shirt, right? Linen? I think so. I don't know, it's pretty cool. I wasn't too into it at first. I love it. But, yeah, it's cool. It's like nice and oversized. And this looks like some swim trunks. I'm actually pretty into these. Try them on. So here are my swimmers. This is my work of vibe. Is it? Oh, you're cute. Look at you. Check it out. Okay, next up are these little pants. I'm actually into these. What do we call this? Color block. This is by Jaden Jade Man. Jaden Man. Let's see what's good. I feel like those are cool because you could wear them with like a graphic tee or... Wait, tuck that in all the way. It's like a little Maddie Healy vibe. Wow, we are on a roll here today, folks. Sometimes I don't like what she picks out for me. Those right are now, cute. Right now, for three for three. Do you like them? Yeah, I do. Cute. I like them. Okay. Look like a little rock star. But also... Do you want to tell them what's on your face? Oh yeah. <laughs> Forgot. She was testing out some makeup. I can't even see it, but she was testing out some makeup, I think. He over has here. foundation, concealer, contour, and blush on one side of his face. And it actually looks really good. Great. But you can't even tell. That's how good it looks. Can't even tell. I went out in public with it on too. Next up are some shorts. Big pocket short front. I don't know if these are the right ones. No, yeah. They're not that comfortable. Okay. Like those new ones are so comfortable, but they're like green. Anyhow, here they are. I just think they're a little too big. <laughs> a little too big. <laughs> she got me leather pants. I'm personally. You love cargo. Yeah, but I'm just not into leather pants. You're annoying. No, these are right. This don't do. I don't like that they're like shiny. Like, I'm not trying to be a shining dude walking down the street. With a little white feeder tucked in and a leather jacket. Ooh. I mean, I like the cut. I like the fit. But I didn't, I'm just not about the leather. I'm moving along. But How many pieces did you get? 45? I don't know. That's, That's what it said. That's disturbing. I'm sorry, but I'm not even... She got... No, she got a leather... What do you call this? I don't know. I'm just not that into leather. Like, no, dude. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> And is not into the leather. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. Here is a. Oh, this looks like a turtleneck. Stop! 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 Put it back Stop up. Stop what? <laughs> it's the artsy. No, I don't. This yes! Is... Yes! That's my model boyfriend. <laughs> Babe! That is cute! I love it! Really? Okay. It's so mad at you. Oh my god, I love it. How do you feel? Pretty good. I love the sleeves. Bye. What do you think? Cute. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. I feel see. good. I feel Let's great. Babe. Oh. You are so chic. You're chicer than I'll ever be. It's annoying. Your bone structure. Cool. Yup. It's a yes. It's a yes. Okay. Next oh, one. Yeah. Then I'm buttoned up. I'm gonna wear it over the top of this turtleneck because I'm feeling it right now. I'm feeling myself. Oh, boxy fit. Let's see. Wait, is that a jacket? Oh, cute. Freaking A. May I help you? You're so chic and cute. Contact my agent for bookings. <laughs> Delicious, too. All right, not the right fit. Bye. I think it's just like... Too specific, maybe? Yeah. Whatever I would have just said, you said, yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> what do you see, cutie? Is it a little too punk rock for you? It's cool. 
How does it look back there? Probably dope. I mean, it's cool. Mm-hmm. What do we feel about it? I mean, I, get, I think it's pretty cool. Okay. I like the long sleeves. Yeah, just keep it because I feel like we really need things in your closet yeah, that yeah, yeah. are cute but like really comfy, so you actually like want to wear them. And if you put like a leather jacket over that or something, I feel like it'd be really cute. Cute. I mean, like I don't think that outfit is actually. Get out of here! Oh, okay. This outfit's perfect. I don't like how your shirt is white and the jacket is like green. All right, we'll have to work on that. <laughs> it's way too like bring me back to your engineering days. That's what I'm saying. Like, all right, these next pants are like some like so 70s. Yeah, very 70s. Oh, I got a 30 in these, so we should be good. Ooh, tight. Are tight. Uh oh. I really like that. Uh oh. What is up with these? But they're like are cinched at the bottom. Okay, now these are a 30 and they really are like a 30. Because they're tight. Wait, are they cool? We got a lot of prints going on. Yeah, like we can't be wearing that together. I mean, these Let's are... Let's try it on. Like, these are try like, it with this thing. These are more... Like I wouldn't wear these that often. Special events. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Nah. I don't think they give it that much use in the end. No. Oh, all right. Have you guys seen enough? It's probably enough. Our... It's something really good. You'll see it on Instagram. Ooh. Right, right? Follow me. Shameless plug. I don't post much, but. But yeah, so thank you, Delaney. Appreciate you. You're one of a kind. Wouldn't look this good in clothes without you. Hello down there. Hi. How is it? How does that couch feel? I feel good. Da -na 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 -na. I knew that I would. Da -na 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 -na. I feel good. Give me a rating. A uh, voice rating. It's like Yelp. Would you refer this voice to a friend? Yes. An eight. Things are looking up around here. Your man's is gonna go to Hollywood. We can organize our shoes. All right, so. We still have in our bedroom a few boxes that have been pretty much untouched. Uh, I don't know what's in that, but yeah. So we got three boxes left to organize. Now, we were utilizing our studio as a studio, makeup studio today. So in this closet though, where we have a couple more boxes that are unpacked, we're gonna do shoe racks for the time being until we maybe get, I think we're considering doing like a full built-in in this closet and like making it like a lot of shoe storage and also like this is where we keep a lot of filming equipment all the studio stuff lives in here too so like big time shoe storage studio equipment storage and then also leave like a area for when guests come and stay so they have a place to put their maybe suitcase and clothes for the short duration that they'll probably be here but we're looking out for the people though we're trying to make it comfortable for them to come stay here still mm -hmm. but also make it that we can work like we need to so I'm gonna go ahead and do a little whoa, whoa, whoa. it's not the biggest room you know but we make do What's the sharpest tool in the shed me I am the sharpest tool you are in this it's shed not. The room's not. we're gonna go ahead and tear it down though tear it down all right, took the studio down, but we gotta run to the post office real quick to see if any uh, packages came because they're closed tomorrow, so we'll be right back. Uh, kid's not doing well. <laughs> what are you doing? Posing. Everyone is scared. Let's build some shoes. How long can you stay in one position for? I don't know. Freeze tag? Are you trying to play freeze tag? Yeah, freeze tag. Oh my God. You wanna play freeze tag for your birthday? Yeah, I do actually. There's only two of us. You can't play freeze tag with two people. All right, big day. We're gonna try to get rid of some boxes. It's a great day. Ugh, unpacking this. Wait, so what is this um, light switch for? Oh, the fan. We don't have overhead lights in this room yet, so having an electrician come on Monday. All right, we have these shoe racks that we've had for a very long time. They're from Walmart. <laughs> we've used them at probably like. We've had them since college. Three, yeah, uh, since college. Yeah. And then we got more like when we moved it a couple of times. Okay. Yeah, so we've had these forever. All right, all right, let's build 
other shoe we got? progress now all right here we are so we got two racks in our closet now wait this is a sneaker rack that's a sneaker rack because we live and sneakers. that's an accessible area yes and you you are very sneaker prone sneaker prone here's some more sneakers all right goodbye box you bought goodbye to a box we love that feeling. We are unfamiliar with that feeling lately. I got boot, more booties over here. More booties, I said. More booties. More booties. Going once, Boo going twice. More booties. Who wants more booties? Here's some booties. I want more booties. Swear to God, I should never buy a pair of shoes again. Yeah. But I will. Never buy a pair of shoes again. That would be the day. I'm going to buy a pair today. Look out, switchblade on the ground. That's an OSHA safety hazard. I'm gonna have to write you up. What? You left that there. Nope. That was you. It wasn't. You are a freaking OSHA safety hazard. Do I still need these? Are these a lot? Don't worry. I know where more shoes are. Disturbia! The reason that I keep so many shoes is because it's nice to have them for like styling purposes. Yeah, exactly. I wish I had a freaking styling warehouse that I could pull from. Well, I, could get I feel like shoes. once this is like built out really nice, maybe that's what it will be, you know? Mm-hmm. But it's just kind of annoying that I have to hold on to so many shoes for the purpose yeah. of styling. Because it's not like I really need to like, I don't know. I don't know. Some progress, kids. Some progress. Alright, so this is what it looks like. We got lots of boots, lots of heels. We ran out of space to put the last rack. We have one more and it won't fit there. So just have one pair of shoes. So with these, I have to put the booties on top because they don't fit in these little slots. And then like those heels on the end, obviously don't fit in there either, but they're just where they went. And then I scooted some like under the last level just to make them fit for now but if you have just like sneakers or heels with a thick heel they fit really nicely in these racks but like i said eventually we're just gonna part ways with these because they're like five dollars and they're five years old from walmart and we're upgrading to built-ins yay yes looks good though yeah hey fam blog fam so it's currently sunday morning and clayton is editing a video because that's what he has to do all the time what else is new because yeah and on Sundays, we like to go grocery shopping and Ooh, I like grocery shopping. plan out our menu for the week for all of our meals. And today is tomorrow's Clayton's birthday. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make him breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Should oh, yeah. I, yeah. Should I tell you what I'm going to make you? I thought you were surprising. I know, but how am I going to do that when we're grocery shopping and then you're going to see what's in the cart and stuff? That might not be possible. Um, maybe I'll just have to go by myself later again. No, you don't have to do that. You love surprises. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. But like, you can not yeah. tell me and then I can try to guess. But like, I won't actively be trying to guess what you're making me. Unless the ingredients are like, you have to go buy, mm -hmm. I don't know, 
problems, issues. I'm gonna go by myself later. So you're gonna make two separate lists right now? Yep. So tomorrow we're just not gonna say any of our meals. Nope. We don't really make a, a menu for breakfast. We kind of just like, whatever we feel like having that day. We just we're get just like granola. enough breakfast for the week. Should we try that coconut yogurt this week? The fancy one? Yeah. Maybe. We should. Okay, but so we do a lunch and a dinner menu for the whole week. Or not like the whole week, the whole work week, is that what you call it? Yeah, we don't do Monday weekend. through Friday. We typically swerve on the weekend, okay. which I don't know why because- But it's also nice, we write this all in our calendar, so then on any given day when we're like, oh, what are we having for dinner? Or like, oh, what should we have for lunch? We just go look at it and we kind of already figured it out and did that, that work. brain work, so it's kind of nice. This um, is a new thing that we started in- Yeah, and it actually is really nice. In quarantine, because us. after like we two months of quarantine, we were already fried by- we're like, We were done being personal what do we chefs. What have for lunch today? What do we have? And then we're gonna be, I don't know. It's just a lot nicer having it red. What do you want for lunch on Tuesday? Might be a double coffee Sunday. Double shot. Where did my coffee mug go? One of those days, two cups of coffee. Who cares? I am not caring. Here I come! Here I come! Excuse me. Are you okay? Gotta go. Get up, stand up, and up for your rights. Good vibes. Wait, is that what it says? Good yeah, vibes I only. I thought I was filming. Yep. Um, mm. okay. Show you guys my new hat. When do you want to plan our dinner? I don't like that game. Oh. I like grocery shopping though. Got a new hat. Mad happy hat. Yep. Didn't do my hair today, so it's a hat day. What do you guys think? He's cute. Okay, how about we have the burritos? We never had those last week for lunch. Fantastic. Just frozen burritos one Frozen day. burritos. Amy's, he also bought some, Get some day, day, day yeah. ones. We don't have to say it. Probably everyone wonders why my face is so pale because I put sunscreen on it every day and I don't tear my face. <laughs> Dinner on a Tuesday. For burritos for lunch, should we have how about that salad with like the chicken tenders okay. and barbecue sauce with like corn and stuff, mm -hmm. you know? Barbecue chicken salad. Yeah. Okay, lunch on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Have a circle bowl. Circle bowl. Y'all seen the circle bowl. Dinner on Wednesday. Pasta or pizza? Or do I have the tofu bowl or? Mm, we're just having a we need to have Alfredo. We haven't had Alfredo in a while. Oh, you want some Clayton's famous Ooh, Alfredo? I want Alfredo with the chicken. Clayton's famous vegan Alfredo. We've had that before. Baked, remember? Yeah, I don't want it baked this time. You don't have to have it baked with me. Ew. Welcome to Clayton's famous Alfredo. Welcome to Clayton's house of Alfredo. All what right. What do you need for that? Cheese. We should get some more cheese, maybe. Parm. 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 I love your, your jingles. Palm. Parmesan. Okay, enough of that. Two cups of coffee. That's what it does right there. Thursday, lunch. Can we make lettuce wraps? Like the ones you get from Kip Chang's? Mm-hmm. So you want some water chestnuts? Let's look that up, huh? Vegan. What do they use for the protein? Kip Chang lettuce wraps. That's fun. Yes. Yes, it is. I'm gonna need some tofu. All right, almost there. What would you like for dinner that night? You make a summer soup? Summer soup. July 2nd. The end. Stop judging me. Hit it. This is taking way longer than I Yeah, this is 
really bad. For Friday lunch, let's have that corn and bean salad. We're gonna oh, add yes. avocado. Who we'll eat balls on Friday? We live the Friday meatball. Yeah, we haven't had meatballs in a minute. I think we don't put beans in the garden. Yeah, no, I don't think we do. We just make them like kind of simple. Yeah. Cilantro, Cilantro. sour cream. Fresh white onion, put white onion. You know that kind, the like street street taco kind of. Mm -hmm. And we're done. Wow. Wait, put your little coconut yogurt on there. Oh yeah. And then put like the other kind of yogurt. Like, let's get the oat one maybe. Let's go to the store. All right, back from the store. We go to three stores. Three. Three stores. Three. Stores because we gotta hit them all. Gonna catch them all. We go to three stores. I'm the three team. stores. Whoa. Right? Yeah. You do it. I just did. No, that, that, that didn't look pleasant. <laughs> We're at three stores. We have like one they store. Know that now. It's like a farmer's market. We got one store that's like our extreme health store. Okay. And then we got another Let's store that's just like our traditional tradition. Protein. Impossible. Yeah. Burger. This stuff is really good. We're gonna make meatballs with it. Used you to only be carried at Gelson's. Now we found it at Safeway Pavilion. Pavilions, Vaughn's. So check it out, folks. Check it out. Beyond Meat Italian Sausage. These are also incredible vegan sausages. Do you want these uh, refrigerated or frozen? Refrigerated. Okay. Gardein Crumbles, another good vegan meat alternative. We really like this one. I like to make it crispy. You guys have probably seen it. I cook it all the time. And then some firm tofu. This is going in our lettuce wraps. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Hey, Sorry, how you doing? This Nancy's oat milk yogurt. This is also a protein. So this is like the best vegan yogurt that we found for ingredients and health at this point. Okay, so this has six grams of protein and only seven grams of sugar. So we're trying to stay, someone gave me the tip of keeping your sugar in single digits. So, and then the protein for the six grams, is, that's pretty good. A lot of the vegan proteins have like one gram. I mean, vegan yogurts have one gram of protein, it's not good. And then six, we six. also decided to try this fancy coconut yogurt, the coconut cult. If you guys have seen this on I'm excited. social media, is everyone, it big on social? Yeah, everyone is obsessed with is these. It really? Yeah, they like rant about them. This little thing though was ten dollars. Yeah, out of control. So we got the chocolate mousse. That flavor. big, that big Nancy's was cheaper than this little thing. Yeah, chocolate mousse and vanilla toffee. They sound really good, and everyone says they're so good. But where are they from? They're from Slow. I honestly hope they're not that good because like I don't want to keep buying a ten dollar freaking thing of this. There's eight servings per jar. It's really. So you're just supposed to have like a dollop. So okay. start with a couple tablespoons and progress from there. These probiotics pack a punch. Oh, so it's kind of just like a daily, like, Very it's like a probiotic. vitamin. And then follow your heart Parmesan. So, so good. Can't live without this. Going in our Alfredo. Yeah, yeah. We got a lot of romaine lettuce this week. And we buy our romaine in these things because we think that it keeps like way better than we when we buy it. Just like in out in the air, like not sealed like this. It goes bad in like a day. So here you go. We also love having fresh corn in recipes when it's in season. So we picked up some corn. And then gold potatoes are my favorite potatoes. So got those. And we also wanted a watermelon since it's summer. It's just like such a good summer snack. And we saw these yellow ones, which I don't think we've ever had yellow watermelon, have we? No, I haven't. So we're gonna try that, it sounds fun. I feel like I've heard it's good. Bananas, Clayton gets these for a smoothie. Okay. Dark cherries, so good in the summer Ooh. also. These aren't refrigerated, are they? They don't have to be, no. Blueberries, this is good in our little yogurt breakfast. Yes. And then we got two avocados, so good to just like throw in to pretty much any meal. Also, we're gonna make a guacamole one day. Crimini, crimini, crimini or crimini? Mushrooms. Cr crimini. 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 And what are these going in? Our lettuce wraps, I think. Yeah. Broccoli, because we eat so much broccoli, we can't live without it. A white onion. And then two limes for our guacamole, our corn salad, tacos, olive a shallot. We are trying out this like peeled garlic. Nice that we don't have to peel yeah. it. We'll see if it's actually worth it. Black beans is going in the corn salad. Water chestnuts in the lettuce wraps. 
these little corn tortillas for our tacos. Mary's, oh, what flavor is this? It's a new one. Supersede everything. We like to dip these in bitch and sauce. We like to pick out a fun pasta when we make a pasta dish. So this is con chile. Con chile. <laughs> That's my new nickname for you. Hey, con chile. This stuff is really good. Organic coconut oil and pink salt popcorn. This is like a salty sweet treat. Oh, that's that's it. That's it. Maybe in next week's vlog, we will do one of these recipes that we're having this week and show you guys. 